Hold on, let's figure this out for a second. Yeah! yeah. Picture of me from when I was a little girl, and he was like, You look fat in this picture. No, he didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> but 
he does have a mustache as well. Uh, weird coincidence. Uh, but he was looking at this picture of me, and he was like, you know who you look like in this picture? And I was like, I don't know, baby Catherine Zeta-Jones. Uh, and he was like, no, you look like Kevin from the show The Office. <laughs> We let them get away with murder, right? Right? Am I right? We do. Look at Phil Spector, <laughs> right, guys? Um, uh, no, but but seriously, uh, it's it reminds me. Okay, you guys know that phrase? It's like if a tree falls in the forest and no one's around to hear it, does it make a noise? So it's like that in my relationship, except it's like if that Swedish man just said what he said again, but this time he had an American accent, would he just be a douchebag? Um, and the answer is yes! Absolutely. Um, I am in a relationship with a Swedish man. Um, my boyfriend and I met when I was on a solo backpacking trip through Europe, like a good white woman going through crisis. Um, I know my brand, and... Um, <laughs> We met and we've been in a two year long distance relationship uh, with each other. He comes here a week out of every month. And um, we're talking about the future, you know, and we were talking about marriage, which is like very exciting. And uh, he was saying to me the other day, he's like, you know, when I move to the States full time uh, and we get married, shouldn't I take your last name because you're an established citizen? And I was like, yup, that's how we do it here. <laughs> Don't anyone tell him any fucking differently. I will come and I will find every single one of you. There are not enough Shapiros in New York City, all right? Um, I think the fun thing about dating someone that's from a different culture than you is that you get to find out all the differences. Basically, in summation, his country, awesome. Ours, we're, we're, we're going through a period, let's just say. Um, we're having a little trouble. Um, one thing that's interesting to me about Sweden uh, that he has told me is that there really is no such thing as catcalling in Sweden. Yes, there is no such thing. I'm assuming it's because they're all very good looking and they're like, let's just leave each other alone, okay? <laughs> we, know, we know we're good looking, well, we let it be. Um, and like, that's even everyone in Sweden is so hot. Like, I think that the motto uh, for Sweden should be like, Welcome to Sweden, where everyone's hot enough to be a model, but instead they're cleaning the toilet at the airport, you know? Um, just the most meany, the most beautiful people doing the most menial jobs you'll ever see. The most beautiful woman in the world sold me a personal pizza at Pizza Hut, you guys, okay? I felt like the fucking hunchback of Notre Dame. I was like, hey, I'm from America! Yes, we got invented Pizza Hut. Um, anyway. But uh, to a woman, I'm from New York, I've lived here my entire life, and to a woman, a world without catcalling? Like, how's the lady supposed to know she's being complimented, right guys? Um, like, New York has me so conditioned to be afraid that like, when I walk home alone at night, I have pepper spray in one hand, and then I wolverine my keys in the other hand. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't even have enough keys, I need to use like an e a CVS extra care card. You guys know? <laughs> Profiling the men that I see around me, not racially, rapily. <laughs> like, I'm like, okay, this guy has a bag of groceries, looks like there's some ice cream in it, probably wants to get that in the freezer, not gonna rape me. Okay. <laughs> well, this guy has a dog, I mean, where is he gonna put the dog when he's raping me, right? Uh, he's out. <laughs> Alright, well, this guy is already masturbating. Uh, <laughs> solo endeavor. Um, I'm sorry to disturb you, sir. Uh, wouldn't it just be great, I'll leave you guys on this, if uh, if the homeless man, while well, he was masturbating, just looked up at me and was like, hey, you know who you look like. <laughs> and I'd be like, Kevin from the office. And he'd be like, no, chubby Catherine Zeta-Jones. <laughs> 